Hi, my name is Brian. Thank you for checking out this channel. In this video, we're going to be talking about my experience with the Sigma Art series lens. The Sigma Art lineup has been notorious for being a very hefty lens. They have the same type of build quality as the rest of their lineups for the DSLR counterparts. And this version of the lens is the Canon mount. I, I use this lens paired with my MC11 adapter on my a7 III. I can't really complain about it. It is comparable to any other Sony lens that I've used. The lens comes with a lens hood. It does not have a weather sealing gasket. The filter thread for this 35 millimeter is 67. The weight of the lens is a 1.47 pounds, which also equals to about a 0.66 kilograms. On the lens is a autofocus and manual focus switch, a viewfinder, so that our focus for when you're focusing to know your distance metering and a rubberized focus ring. It is a very nice rubberized focus ring. There are no hard stops. It does have a soft click at the end of each side. More about this lens. The build quality is great. It is a bit of a heavier lens, but it is tack sharp. Great bokeh in the background. I love it. This is my go-to lens. I've realized that anytime I'm going out, I prefer to bring this lens with me. You get to show a lot of the background as well as the subject. A nice in-between state. Not too tight as a 50 or an 85 and not too wide compared to like a 24 or an ultra wide. This lens goes all the way down to f1.4. A f1.4 means that it will be able to shoot in darker situations. So if you're doing street photography and the sun has just set, you are more likely to be able to shoot with this 35 1.4 compared to a kit lens. And usually a kit lens, the lowest it can go is a 3.5. That is the benefits of having a prime lens. Prime lenses typically go down to a lower f-stop. The highest f-stop goes up to is a 16. I primarily use this lens for my portrait photography, everyday use, honestly. Or if I'm taking pictures of things that I don't need to be completely very up close to within a nice distance that you can have a good communication and good talk with. You're not up and close and so into someone's personal space and you're not too far that you can't really communicate with them. That's why I prefer this lens. The nice middle ground in every way that suits me. And honestly, I hope I have explained and showed you guys and enough information that it persuades you to also get this lens. It is a very good lens for the price. Uh, I believe it usually goes between 600 or so dollars and Sigma tends to have these lenses on sale for a lot of the time. And this lens has been out for such quite a long time, you might just be able to pick it up for a use and get a great deal on it. It's a 1.4 lens. You can't go wrong. Let me know what kind of photography you would use with this 35 1.4. Or what do you use for your 35 millimeter at the moment, if you have one? Let me know in the comments below. But my name is Brian. I hope I persuaded you guys to go and add this great lens to your camera bag. And I'll check you on the next one. Peace. Be safe.